Hi everybody, it's Mr. D in the middle with Mr. D1 at blogspot.com with some teaching tips for lesson 11, day three, level two of S cubed middle school sight singing program for beginners. Um, all right, so today we are going to kind of uh, have them focus on rule number one from the natural sheet uh, from earlier in this lesson. And we're gonna see if they can, in the written warm up, uh, apply all of those rules. So um, measure one, it's the first time they've had to apply beat three. So take a look at that. And then measure two, it's the first time they've had to apply um, beat two uh, and then beat three. So um, just check for those. And, and then we're going to keep practicing uh, letter names and um, asking them what letter name is Joe on and then applying, asking them the same question, what key is it in? Because many of them, these are beginners, don't recognize that connection. They're starting to, but we have to keep reiterating that. The letter names, I'm also asking them to name the letter names of everything um, using uh, the actual letter names A, B, C, D, E, F, G on bass clef. And that's going to be the trick because they've got to notice both. I want them to coordinate all of the stuff they've been learning for all the years now. So uh, the rhythm exercise um, is a triple T exercise again. Um, I'm putting triple T in various spots because they always want to go triple T ta. So I'm purposely putting in places where they don't get to go ta after. So that's what we'll hear today. And then on the sight singing exercise, it's all about locating the big leaps, find, hold, drill and getting those worked out. That's, that's what I want them focused on as we move forward for a while before I actually start having them sing some chromatics. We're gonna gently move into the chromatics, but the big leaps is what they need for my own sight singing in Georgia when we approach that in March. So that's where I'm headed with them. I hope that helps you out. Have a great day.